Mm. Ah. Mm, no. Yep. We definitely have way too many sunglasses and we need a place to store them in drawers and cluttered places and trying to hang them on the wall and lay them all around just didn't work. So I had an idea. Why don't I put them in the wall? Before I show you the final product, let me show you how I installed this and built this hidden sunglass cabinet. Now, I wanted to put it behind this picture frame, so I'm measuring here on the wall the size of the picture frame just to make sure that the opening for the cabinet that's going to go into the wall is going to be smaller than the picture frame because the picture frame itself is going to act like a door on the front of it. Now, I got this started with a jigsaw and just started cutting out all of the drywall. I knew that there were some studs behind here, but I had to get the drywall cut out before I could see exactly where all the studs were. Once I got that cut out, the insulation removed. It's just a closet on the other side of here, so no big deal. I did have a nice little opening after removing all of the studs. And then I put some two by fours back in to not only reinforce what I took out, just make sure it's strong, but I used some pocket hole screws here just to give myself some additional two by fours on the top and the sides to anchor and screw the cabinet that I'm going to recess into here nice and strong. Then in SketchUp, I went ahead and designed this up. I didn't follow any other plans. It's kind of like came up with this on my own in my head and then I designed it up in SketchUp. So if you want to get the full build plans on this, you want me to put those together in a nice PDF or something, I can certainly do that for you guys. Just comment below saying build plans and I'll get something put together for you. I'm just using some quarter inch and half inch pieces of wood here ripping them down to size i'm going to make a very shallow depth shelving cabinet essentially that i'll be able to assemble here in my garage and then just recess and install into the opening so i'm getting some grooves cut out here on my table saw those will be for the shelves to slot in so they'll be nice and strong they're not going to be bearing a lot of weight because sunglasses are not very heavy but I just thought by notching them in, it would give me the ability just to glue this up and not have to worry about any type of screws to hold it together. I did put a groove on the back side there, and you'll see why in just a second. I've got an eighth of an inch groove on the very back, and that is because I plan to use a mirror on the back of this so that it not only gives a lot more depth to the shelving, but it also gives a really cool way for me just to check how the sunglasses are looking in my face. Right here, I'm routering out a slot for the magnetic push latch that I'm installing here. I just found this at Home Depot, but it's a, it's a nice, easy push latch. That way I don't have to have any handle on that picture frame. Again, making it really inconspicuous that there is even a hidden sunglass case behind it. And then I also needed to cut up some trim that's gonna go around the cabinet after I put it in there, kind of like a face trim to clean the whole thing up and just make it look really sharp when I open this up. So I cut that down using my miter saw, uh, and then I'm working on a little bit of weird degrees here on the side because I'm using it with two different thicknesses of wood. Again, I'm just kind of doing this as I go. I've got a sacrificial piece of MDF board there against my fence because I've got to cut this little groove on the side so I can really make it super, super thin on the trim once I put it in. Now I just get the whole thing spray painted up. In hindsight, I wish that I had just gotten out my Greco paint sprayer instead of using some can spray, but that's what I had, so I went ahead and used it. And then I took this piece of mirror that I found over at Home Goods in an actual mirror, because it's way cheaper to do that than buying it at your big box store, and I proceeded to cut it down to size. Now I've never worked with glass before, so this is all new to me, cutting glass, but I cut it down to size and it worked surprisingly well. I was able to slot it down behind all of the shelves in that eighth of an inch groove that I made there. So I was pretty, pretty excited that it worked in the first try and made a perfect backing for this sunglass case shelf. Now, lighting is important here because it's going to be behind this door cabinet. So I wanted to install some LED lighting and I wanted the lights to come on automatically when I open the door. So I installed this little light sensor on the side here, which will allow me to connect the power source for the LED lights to this light sensor so that when the door is opened, it will sense that the door is open and turn on the LED lights on the inside, which you'll see here in a second. 
I've not done a lot of work with LED lights, um, but it's pretty straightforward. These are really simple LEDs, just a uh, power and a neutral strip there going in. So just a two wire LED light strip. Didn't have to be anything fancy. I was using these connectors. In hindsight, I kind of wish that I'd just gone the whole nine yards and soldered them so I didn't have these bulky connectors on there. But again, uh, learning as I go here, using some heat shrinking tubing here around those connections just to make sure it's all clean. And I'm putting these LED strips on the underside of the uh, shelves so that they shine down. So the cabinet's upside down here just as a visual for you. And I'm just using some 3M adhesive here to attach a lot of this. I certainly could have glued it or clamped it down, but again, nothing mission critical in this case here. Just getting everything wired up. You can see that I also cut out grooves on the sides of the cabinet, which made it a lot easier for me to run my LED lighting cables down the sides because when this gets pushed into the opening of the wall, the, it's going to be the clearance is going to be really tight. So I didn't want to have to uh, cut any additional grooves. So the wiring all just goes in those grooves. But there you can see I'm testing it out and it worked perfectly. Put my thumb over that light sensor and they turned on and off. So I proceeded to go ahead and put on the rest of the strips and just run that electrical wiring, as you can see there, along the side. And this made it really quite easy for me to go along and just wire up each strip and then I'll be able to run them down that groove along the side of the cabinet. I also used these waterproof heat shrink tubes that I found on Amazon. I'm going to link them down below. It made it nice because they have a little bit of solder on the inside of them. So I, I just did not want to ever risk having any wiring issues with these because once the cabinet is in there, I won't have any access to these electrical wires running through there. So I used the heat shrink tubes that had a little bit of solder included in them so not only would they be a little bit watertight but also create a really solid connection uh, when i got down here to the bottom i was able to just push all the cabling into those grooves and we were ready to put it into the wall to see if it even fit and voila just like that you can see the face trim why i cut it so thin there on the sides because I didn't want to have a really thick trim around there because I wanted the picture frame to be really flat on the wall. So there's no way anybody's going to be able to tell that there's anything behind the picture frame when the picture frame is actually closed. Just screwed it to the left and the right there. And here I am just kind of visualizing how that picture frame is going to be covering it up. And then I used a piano hinge here, just drilled some really shallow holes, connected the piano hinge to the picture frame which I could have made this whole frame myself, but it was just as easy for me to pick up a picture frame. Then I plan to put one of my phot photographs that I took at Lover's Key in Fort Myers Beach. But before that, I needed to have some sunglass hooks for a larger mirror section. So I went ahead and designed these sunglass hooks and printed them out on my 3D printer. I spent way too much time over engineering these sunglass little hooks but you'll see in a second how they work and i'm really really happy with how they turned out i uh, got them 3d printed painted with the same color that i painted the actual sunglass cabinet with and then used some double-sided tape on the back here that's going to adhere to the mirror itself and then proceeded to put that door on before i put the hooks in and you can see here, I'm just drilling right into that 2x4 that's in the wall there and making it nice and sturdy and strong. And there we go. Picture frame. There's my photograph that I put into the picture frame there. Um, and then I'm just using this magnetic latch uh, on the door itself. So you can see the magnetic spring latch right there because the idea here is that I can just push on the picture frame and then it will bounce out and unlatch it. Made it really quite easy. Now, something else that I use here is just some CA glue to put that metal piece on the inside of the picture frame so that when it closes, it contacts with that magnetic spring latch right like this. Notice the light turned off automatically. You can barely see it there as it turned off. But now I can just push and it pops open. So you're starting to get a visual there of the sunglasses sitting inside there. But I made this little cardboard template here to make it super precise on how I was going to mount these shelves because a little bit anal when it comes to everything being balanced probably coming from my graphic design days I just want everything to be really symmetrical 
but here you can see that those little sunglass shelves are installed there and voila here is the sunglass case all completed those are those 3d printed little hooks but i've got shelves for just all my oakley's yes i am an oakley guy oakley sunglasses are my thing but i'm really happy how this turned out from the front you just don't even know that that is a hidden sunglass case and don't worry i know some of you are probably thinking but michael what about your wife's sunglasses yes she has just as many if not more sunglasses than me and yes the one around the corner here is also her very own hidden sunglass case if you like this video smash the subscribe button because i'm going to bring you guys a lot more of these kind of build videos let me know what you think in the comments below what would you have done different with this hidden sunglass case if it was yours